Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, once again to the one and only Level Unlock podcast. Had a little bit of a miss week last week for those who participated and watched and listened. Uh, we we're missing a bunch of us. Uh, we are back on track for the most part this week. Uh, Mr. Uh, Nate James is back on his uh, world tour of interviews again, traveling through country to country now. I think he's in like uh, um, like Iraq or something like that. Uh, last time I found out, but he's maybe somewhere Finland. else now. He said he's uh, going to send us pictures of Finland. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's Finland. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Finland. Um, we got a so special guest here on my Finland, screen. Nate. Uh, with the faces. <laughs> but welcome, everybody, once again to... Uh, Wow. So I don't know how long it's been like this, but I literally just noticed that my title says the level unlock Bobcast. Oh. It's actually what's displayed <laughs> on my still, screen. It's still the fucking Bobcast. <laughs> I have no idea how long it's been like that. I'm pretty That's sure bad. every oh, fucking fuck. week since we've done this. Um, it does say po- pod podcast. Oh my god. That was that was yeah. rough. A good old podcast. Okay, yeah, so I, I got a fucking. I had no idea. I decided to look up and to see the header. I'm like, what is that? Doesn't right? Oh my god, it's embarrassing. Well, anywho, man, that 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 joke has been long <laughs> dead. Holy shit! <laughs> Everyone's probably watching. I'm like, oh, this guy can't spell. Like, well, you're not wrong. But uh, what's up, guys? How uh, how you guys been? How was the? How you guys weeks has been? Happy Labor Day, by the way, to you Happy all. You. Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor so what's going on, boys? Let's. Uh, oh, before we do, as always, um, if you would like to join the the madness that is the Level Unlock podcast, uh, you can definitely definitely do so. When I say madness, I mean absolute greatness. At patreoncom slash podcast where you can definitely uh, become part of the Lockpick Nation and become a Lockpick Master. Uh, so how's everyone doing? Now uh, let's, Mark, man, what's going on? How you been? Jeez, oh, put on the spot wow. real quick. Sorry. Uh, I'm not too bad. Uh, been spending a lot of time doing homework, to be completely honest. Uh, been in the process of getting my MBA, and the semester just started, so it's a weird time getting back into the groove of everything. Uh, but also, since I haven't been here for two weeks, I've been playing some games, I guess, during that time. Uh, I finished Death Stranding, I think. Oh my god! Okay, wait, you think? Have you seen credits? I've seen them three times. Okay, and, so... And then I'm back into the world, and I'm stuck on Chapter 15. Okay. Which I think is where it just completely just stays forever. But I don't know, and that's what's, <laughs> that's what's killing me. It's like, what if, what if I do all the deliveries and premium all of those, and then five-star all the things? Like, does it end? Like, I gotta know. <laughs> So that's where I'm at with Death Stranding. I've been, I, but I also don't really want to look it up because that's also kind of the the, the draw to the game again, okay. still for me. Is like I've been trying to at least right now get all of the regions that aren't essential to finishing the game because there's like a handful of regions that you don't even necessarily go through that you uh, that there's typically like still colonists that you can go and. Uh, like do deliveries for so that's what i've been working on recently um i almost finished destroy all humans <laughs> on the last mission of that the final boss is a bitch uh <laughs> good old games from the mid to early 2000s they're it's difficulty sucks <laughs> they do i have any of you guys played any of those master packs like there'll be a bundle pack with a bunch of Sega games in it, or uh, Xbox games. I, I mean, playing pretty much any older game is super difficult. Isn't yeah, it, a lot, though? a lot I of tried... the older ones are. Yeah. Bro, I tried playing uh, like Jet Grind Radio, the original. Oh yeah. Or Jet Set, Jet Set Radio. I call it I call it Grind because that's how it was on the Dreamcast. Well, whatever the fucking first one was, in that game, I couldn't get past the first board. Oh, yeah. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I cannot believe it. I, this is my favorite game. And it was just so difficult to play it. All those older ones are super hard. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's yeah, it's it's weird going back to like older games because they were made so differently than how they are now. Is that what it is? Is that what it is, you guys think? Yeah, I would say so. It's like the 
Destroy All Humans Remastered is so much similar to the old game. Is like all of the things and like limitations that the old game have still appear in the new remaster, so it's like equally as difficult. And like that's why I, I think it's difficult. Like there isn't like naturally spawning or regenerating ammo. Like you have to stop somewhere and uh, do a, a motion that takes like five or ten seconds to convert whatever random object in the world into ammo. Can and I just say how weird? It's cool. It just takes forever. <laughs> Can I just say how weird it is to play a like first person shooter nowadays where you don't have automatically regenerating health? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I feel like uh, Halo was like one of the first ones. No, yeah, Halo. Yeah, was, Halo like, was Halo had that, that. Yeah. And I remember the last game I played before that that made me want that. And that was Half Life. Where you had to get health packs. Oh yeah, and like body yeah. armor packs or whatever. All of that jazz. Dude, stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Damn game. Yeah, so I almost finished Destroy All Humans, still on the final boss. It's a bitch, we'll see. Well, I'll give you an update next week. Um, I started playing the Phantom Pain because, you oh, know, I'm yeah. a good you're, old Kojima fanboy. You're, you're and... on a Kojima's kick. Yeah, so I started playing playing that. I played a few hours of that some, earlier this week um, and finished, like, the first couple missions and it was introduced to Mother Base and all that sort of stuff. And then just sort of was starting to piece together the similarities of, like, all of the different missions. And I wasn't too sure if they were crazy interesting, but after playing for three or four hours, I knew I was, like, done at that point. Mm -hmm. Where if it was Death Stranding, I'm like, oh yeah, I can finish like two or three more deliveries. So I just have to, you know, I, I could pick up more packages here and then on the way so I can do a big ass delivery at the end and then get to the end and you're like, all right, time to get more. I, there's just a, a bigger gameplay loop that keeps my attention in yep. Death Stranding being that it's not all separated into individual missions and sections. So... It's it's definitely one of Kojima's masterpiece. Sorry, I've definitely been talking about that for a while. <laughs> well, no, if you like it, talk about it, man. Like, I don't yeah. shut up about Yakuza. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, right? Or Silent Hill or Resi, so. Yeah, play Death Stranding if you haven't. It's it's phenomenal. Or, or if you want a game that, you know, keeps you on your toes, but also gives you the opportunity to explore and relax and, you know, also not focus on story missions and just sort of do what you want, but also kind of stick with the story at the same time. It, it was just one of those games that really fit everything I enjoyed in a game. So it was definitely money well spent. Yeah. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, definitely. I'm still playing it even after I finished it, which is uh, weird. <laughs> finished it, question mark. Yeah, who, who really knows? Um, the game never Started ends. playing RimWorld again. Uh because they put out a big update for that. Yeah, good old, good old RimWorld. It's it's a super difficult, well, not not difficult. It's a story simulator where you have you typically have a bunch of survivors that are thrown into a two-dimensional world and then you got to manage them into like different uh what's it called? different job categories so you say this is your number one priority you go out and mine this other person cleans up all this stuff this other person cooks all the food and then they just kind of do it and then along the way there's things such as like fires where you get attacked by you know rival gangs or you know animals just decide to freak out and attack all of your villagers you just got to figure out how to account for that sort of thing mm -hmm. uh, they put out an update of it recently and it's 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 good. It's still a really good game. Uh, if, you, if you like those kind of games, like building open world survival kind of games, but it, more of a, a 2D aspect, uh, RimWorld's definitely pretty good. Uh, hmm. Played some Mr. Prepper, which was a, a, a game demo about uh, building a bomb shelter and keeping it away from the government. Uh, if you're interested, I would just check it out on Steam. <laughs> Not the damn government. <laughs> You can't yeah. have my bomb shelter. There's a lot of like political things inside of that game, but I, I'll probably pick it up whenever it comes out, but the demo was pretty cool. So it was the Mr. Prepper prologue, if you're interested. Uh, I played some Ultimate Unreal, Ultimate Epo Epic Battle Simulator, 
Um, my computer didn't melt. I was disappointed. Um, <laughs> you didn't do it good enough. You, you didn't do it yeah, right. Yeah, I actually don't think I did it right because I only had like five or so different units of maybe oh. like 100, 100 units, and I should have went with like 400,000 in each one <laughs> and, and saw if my computer melted. But like I was totally expecting t it to be kind of on the level of totally unreal, totally accurate battle simulator. That's it. Um, which was at least a lot more fun in my opinion, and was a lot more of a game. Yeah, where, as fuck. yeah, Epic Battle Simulator is more of just like, hey, I'm gonna put these units on this map here, 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 and here. Press start, and then you just kind of let it go. Like you can't control units and do all that sort of thing, but it's it's definitely more of a demo than anything else. But I played that just to see how it was. Yeah, this is two weeks of me off. This is a lot of words. Don't, people don't let me talk for this long usually. <laughs> um, I play, played Overcrowd, which is a, a subway building simulator that's more in a, a, a 2D fashion. It reminds me of, a, was it Hobby Hotel or whatever it's called? Hobo I Hotel. Forget. Hobo Hotel. It's the yeah. same kind of art style as that, but you make a, a subway and you manage that, hire employees, and get people through as quickly as possible. So... Yeah, it's overcrowded. It's on Steam if you're interested. Can it's you pretty close cool. down the pool? I honestly have no idea if you can make a pool. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> you're just making subway stations, so maybe. Yeah, and then you uh, then you close down the pool. Just like in Habo Hotel. <laughs> Dang. I played some Quake Champions. That's always a good time. I played... have this shit downloaded. I need to play it. It's really fast paced. If you if you like fast paced gameplay, um, that's that's really the overall draw to it. Um, I'd say, yeah, it's it's very similar to Doom in that aspect, but it's more of an arena shooter. So, uh, yeah, it's free. <laughs> Unreal Tournament was my jam. Oh yeah, it's it's very similar to Unreal Tournament <laughs> and the original Quakes. If you're familiar yeah. with those kind of games, yeah, Quake was just wasn't that just Id's response to Unreal Tournament? To Epic's Unreal Tournament, I think it was. Add or a response to Doom, or serious? Uh, oh, yeah, no idea. <laughs> Great question. Uh, but yeah, that, that's enough of me this week. I played a bunch of games. Uh, yeah, how about uh, how about you, James? Uh, well, I didn't. I'm still kind of getting over Gamescom, and the train wreck of a podcast we had last week. Um, but, uh, I, <laughs> I would say that that Gamescom one kind of made up for it a little bit. It was, yeah, it was, yeah, mag was that magically, I don't even know fucking how, any idea how it was two and hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> well, I do know, but I just can't believe it ended up being that long. Yeah. Stevie texted me yesterday and he's like, yo, I'm listening to the Gamescom episode. I fucking love it. And I'm like, how? <laughs> All it is is just us just vomiting a bunch of facts about games yep. for like two and a half hours. Hey, it wasn't bad though. We did, we literally did, we dissected a shit ton of games though. So I was actually pretty proud of that. I was, I was shocked. I honestly didn't think we, we would actually uh, make it through every fucking game we did. Yeah. And I like, I like how you're, how I'm rubbing off on you with the, uh, my writing style. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I fucking, when we, when we talk about the uh, Engadget shit. Yeah, you, you, you'll hear you'll hear my uh, my James style notes. That I was watching it. I'm like, this is fucked. This is like this is like this, and you know, my little add-ons are James style add-ons. I'm honored. So I played mainly. I'm cut you off. Keep going. You're good. I mainly played two games this week, and got into a new new thing. I played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One and Two. I seen that. I wanted cool. to pick that up. How is it? Are you liking it? Oh, it's fantastic. Really? It's so good. It, it's teleporting me back to, fuck, when was it? Like 2001? 2000, 2001? I think it was 90s, well, wasn't it? Well, the first one I thought was like 99. The second one was like Maybe. 01, I think. It was something like that. And just bring me back to playing it on my Dreamcast, the second one, and just rocking out to all the great music and playing the best skateboarding level of school, too, 
over and over and over again, trying to get the high <laughs> score, get skate, wall ride everything, get the secret tape, all that fun stuff. It's everything I could have ever wanted in a Tony Hawk's remastered collection and more. Because they Getting added raving reviews. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's two of the best skateboarding games ever made in one combo with a little bit better with better graphics. Uh, I don't know how they managed to do it, but an even more kicking soundtrack mm. and um, a free skate mode. A free oh, skate geez. mode. Who expected that? Yeah. A fuck, <laughs> I, I was having a blast with free, just rolling around, just finding different different lines to hit. and Oh, it's so good. They also did a really cool thing because I've been... I've been listening to the Tony Hawk soundtrack because it's on Spotify. They have a Spotify has a playlist of all the songs in one and two remastered, and the mixture of new and old is spot on. And listening to like the newer like hip hop songs that they have on there, and like they have a new song, uh, "Bomb Drop." By less than Jake. I mean, like all the songs that they have in there, especially the new ones, feel like they could have just been in the original, no problem. Well, there was a handful of tracks that didn't make it in, right? There was like three. I think there were like I forget what three they were, but I mean, you have great hits from like Real Big Fish, the Ataris, uh, Suicidal Tendencies, Suicide Machines. Um, Melon Column, Colin, uh, you you just got some oh Rage Against the Machines, you got you got some absolute bangers on there, absolute bangers. So I mean, if anything, just listen to the soundtrack. Just listen to the soundtrack. Put on that Thrasher T-shirt you've had in your closet for the past like ten years. Put on those checkered Vans. And you know what? Go out and uh, go out and skateboard a little bit. Skate skate a few lines while you're uh, while you're listening. Shit slaps. It does. The other thing I did this week, uh, also while the immediately after, because I streamed Tony Hawk for about a good like two hours or so. I played this a little game called All Star Fruit Racing. It's a very bad racing game. That you shouldn't play. It's not good. But. I've played that game. I think I have probably about a good. Five, six hours into that game now. Yeah, we probably watched you for an, an hour or two yesterday. Play. Yeah. Two I, days ago, something like that. Yeah, I hate. Yeah, two days ago. I hate to admit it. But I have more hours in All-Star Fruit Racing. Than I do Tony Hawk's 1 and 2. <laughs> You're trying to. You're you got trying, a good reason yeah, for it. I got yeah, a good man. reason. The reason you're is. Down, you're for this. The reason that I am. I, I'm like doing it. Someday about you. I got into speed running. I got into speed running, and my gateway drug was all star fruit racing. My vitamin C levels are off the chart right now. So I just. After Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, after I was streaming that. I'm like, I don't want to stop streaming. Let's let's figure out something else. And I went to go grab my copy of Ghost of Tsushima. And I go, wait. Why play a good game that, you know, I really should be playing? Why don't I play this $5 game I got at work? And I pop it in and I start playing it. And, you know, we're all having, we're all having a laugh, you know, yucking it up, looking at it and making fun of it and then I get the idea I wonder what the world record time for some of these tracks are so I start looking it up and I start grinding I start doing my grind trying to get the world record on one track keep going keep going keep going and you know I, I get a pretty respectable time for my first my first day on it and then I just think to myself I'm like fuck I gotta keep. I gotta b improve this time. I know it can be done. I know it can do better. So I start hitting the lab, and by the lab, I mean 
YouTube. And I start watching the only speed run available for this game. And I'm watching and I'm dissecting it. From a really cool dude know, named Jordan... Push it to the limit is playing in the background. Yeah. From a really cool dude named Jordan LOL. He's one of the mods for the game on speedrun.com. Also, awesome. the world record holder for every single category of that game. <laughs> so I'm watching it. I'm like, hmm, okay, so these are the lines I should do. Okay, that's how I should do it. This is this is the strats. Okay, I can, I can do this. I can do this. So then I get to work. I get to work on the grind. I start playing it. I'm putting in hours. I'm putting in that time. I'm getting good at it. I'm uploading my times to speedruns.com. They're getting accepted. Jordan LOL is messaging me on there, but I can't respond because I haven't had the account long enough to be able to respond to direct messages. She's like, wow, this guy's a dick. He's trying to beat my record. He doesn't need the common courtesy to respond. Yeah. I get to 0.5 seconds. A half a second away from the ti from the from the world record, and I'm like, okay, tomorrow I'm 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 calling it a night. Tomorrow I'll uh, I'll get back on it. About to fall asleep, my phone vibrates. I look at my phone. I have the speedrun.com app on my phone. I look at my phone, go, and I see new world record, Jordan LOL, for the core or for the track. Uh, Coco Nui. My my time was like fifty four point three. I think it was the world record time was like. Oh no! What I forget what the time was. It was like fifty five. The world record was fifty four something. Yeah, fifty four something. Fifty four. Nine. Yeah, it was like fifty four point yeah, like yeah. eight. My time was fifty five point three. And I, awesome. I I see the blood in the water. I'm ready to go for it. But I go to sleep. I hear my phone vibrate. I look at it. This motherfucker drops the time down to 53.7. <laughs> and he puts a little message on the video because you have to upload a video evidence of it. He goes, he goes, have to, uh, have to whittle down the time because of the increasing competition. Winky face. Welcome to the, welcome to the team, Jimmy Noodles. And I go, this son of a bitch. <laughs> this cool, son though. of a bitch could have easily beaten his time. And he had, he messages me on there. He goes, yeah, you could easily beat my time, my old time. That was super sloppy. And I look, I'm like, motherfucker, I was, I've was i spent like hours <laughs> trying to beat this shit. And look at you, just like, oh, that shit, that was trash. Here, let me just do it better. Let me shave a f <laughs> over a full second off of the time. But That's yes. cool, though, that the fact that they, they can acknowledge you and everything like that. Like, hey, awesome job, man. That's fucking cool. So now I'm just looking around. I'm looking around at my game collection. Like, what do, what trash game do I want to speed run now? Once I'm done. Once I'm done with. What the hell's game? All Star Fruit Racing. I'm gonna try to. I don't know. There's a bunch. Yeah. I don't know. So I'll I'll, I'll take a look and 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 see. But no, I finally did the thing that I've been saying to myself that I've wanted to do for the past, like, three years. And that is... Get into speedrunning. I like it. Hmm. So but is yeah. this the only game you're planning on doing, or, you, I mean, what are you doing next? Oh, I have no idea. What, what lands shall Jimmy Noodles conquer next? I don't know. I'll figure it out one of these days. Well, I don't mean like a specific. Silent Hill. I, yeah, I should, I should, I should backtrack a little. I mean, like, do you plan on continuing to just do your thing with speed runs? Or are you gonna do? Or do you plan on doing it more? Yeah. Do you want to stick with kart racers, or do you want to go in, like other right. game? At um, that point, you gotta start wondering about like any percents or you know sections. And... Yeah. Any percent glitchless. Yeah, um, like, are you trying to do a glitch list? <laughs> well, I guess, I mean, I have to, I'll, I'll have to find a game that sticks with me, and, you know, I go, yeah, I want to either, A, I enjoy this game a lot, and I want to, you know, show my love and try to, try to speedrun this, 
or B, I want to get my fucking money's worth out of this stupid piece of shit game, so I'm going to speedrun it. <laughs> speedrun overcooked. I don't think you can, because it's timed. <laughs> you can't speedrun yeah, that. Oh, that's, yeah, that's look true. It up. I mean, I guess you could do, like, a score attack? Yeah, the between... Yeah, I guess. But, like, not really a speed run. Six speed run strat. Well, I also didn't think you would sp anyone would speed run all star there, fruit racing. There's an any percent run for is there? the first overcooked. Yeah, is there? Uh, two hours and eleven minutes. Fucking bet. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Uh, Fucking do it. All Shit. all stars is two hours ten minutes. So. <laughs> I wonder what. Yeah, the... they're usually two people though. What's the speed run for Persona Five? I'm gonna guess like nine hours. I'm gonna go to speedrun.com, not speed desk, not speedtest.net. Speed. Yeah, two completely <laughs> different. Yeah, websites. fast main it is really quick. <laughs> for the hard true ending, uh, Persona Five is sixteen hours twenty seconds. Let's do it. Cool. Sixteen hour speed run. Let's go. RTA baby, RTA. It looks like it's a pretty tight one. Well, the the first place one is twelve minutes ahead of the second place person. That's just some just a bad RNG probably happened to the second place guy. New world record for uh, Resident Evil Seven just came out today. Uh, twenty two minutes and fifty nine seconds. Oh, I could do I could do like RE Seven. I could do one of the Resis. That's any percent, 22 minutes and 59 seconds. You could do the Yakuza's. You could do 100%, mine, right? 25 yeah. minutes? How the fuck do you 100% a Resident Evil game in 25 minutes? Easy. Glitches. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft speedruns aren't even possible to beat. Like, fuck this shit. Hey, man, you just gotta get... <laughs> like, if you don't do random seed, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty quick. Gotta get the, the Ender it's Portal, a, right? Because you have to go fight the Ender Dragon. Three minutes and 44 seconds. Like, yeah. it's, a, it's fucking impossible. That's very possible. <laughs> I don't understand yeah, how. Yeah, I guess I just gotta believe. Yeah. The um... Like, you just fucking just mine the shit out of everything until you can get the the Ender Portal. Like, that's... Well, you can't, because... Yeah, how you could get down to the... I, what? Well, most yeah, of the time... Yeah, three minutes... The, Obsidian in three minutes. The th portal in three minutes. The metal three, shears, the three minute one. Stone. The three minute one is on a set seed, so they know exactly where everything is going to spawn. Yeah. So, so and then they run around just, like directly minutes. next to them. Well, yeah, random seed is just pure luck. Like that yeah, is. It's it's a fucking mirror. <laughs> it's a crapshoot. It's three ridiculous. Minutes, though, with the still, you still have to mine it, craft it. Put it together, go in there, and then just beat the shit out of the dragon. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it doesn't say if it's on survival though, or, or creative. It's it's on survival. Is it? Yeah. And then they so. probably use like the bed glitch to like insta kill the ender dragon. Yeah, he just pretty much spawns, gets wood, and then goes straight to the end. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, it's 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 a thing of beauty watching that. Yeah, so yeah. That, that was my week. I love it. Hey, Walker, how was your week? Oh, also, we I mean, we all kind of watched the Resident Evil movie. Yeah. Like two oh, weeks yeah. ago. That was, that was rough. That was something else. It, was, mean, that was it really rough. was. It wasn't that rough. Was, that was a work of art. Extremely rough. Jeff, Jeff, I love you. <laughs> but shut the fuck up. No, it's not. <laughs> Don't even joke about that shit, man. Well, I we still, still have, have five more. No, know. more than that. Oh eight yeah, yeah more. we still have eight more. Eight more. Well, unfortunately, the next one is uh, the, worst. the worst one out of everyone. The worst rated, the worst <laughs> reviewed out of any of the ones. And it also says it has the worst CGI. Good. I think that's the one. I can't remember if that's the one where Chris comes in or not. I can't remember if that's two or three where Chris comes in. That's going to make me vomit. All right. Um, hey, Jeff. How was your week? Or two weeks, I guess. Busy. Very busy. Running around 
like at the speed crazy. of sound. The speed of smell, my brother. Mm. Yes, I've uh, been outside a whole lot actually. Getting the most out of this summer before it is over, and the terribleness that is winter envelops all of us. I can't I wait for fall. Like... I can. Do you know why I can wait for fall? Why? Because fall brings with it very shortly after winter. Yeah, for, but but winter imagine is the devil. Imagine if we could have fall like all year round. That would be nice. But unfortunately, winter is Satan, and Satan is immediately following the wonderful season that is fall. So I'm trying to get as much uh, in as I can, and i um, been going to a lot of parks lately and things like that. Um, I did play one game in the last couple weeks. <laughs> that Pokemon is new. Go. Oh. I played two games in the last two weeks. One of which is Pokemon Go. I have played the shit out of that. Being outside all crazy, might as well, right? Yeah, might as well. Uh, I'm not even going to get into the madness that is that. I have a, a a little Pokemon Discord group I put together. And we had our first picnic the other day. Oh, yeah. How was that? After. That was actually pretty cool. Nate James showed up. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, and didn't Mike Zach show up, too? Nope. No. Not Mike oh. Zach. His friend Mike. Oh. Uh, what no, was no, this? Mike, that's name. Uh, down at Scott's Park. Nice. Yeah, appreciate the invite. It was a swamp mm -hmm. at yeah. the park. <laughs> no, I'm trying to invite as many people to as many things as possible before this winter is over. Unfortunately, our friend Captain Geach over there lives 150 bazillion miles away. I would have been there. I know you would have. Especially fucking Watkins Glen. Shit's, those pictures are gorgeous. Dude, isn't it crazy? Yeah, man, we went to this place called Watkins Glen. Oh my god, if that wasn't one of the coolest places I've ever seen. It was that crazy. fucking place was packed. It was packed. It was ridiculous. Did you see the picture I had with the little pink Pokemon? The yeah, little, that was uh, funny. The little swamper guy? Yeah. Yeah. That was cute. Yeah. The, Could you was... actually get down into the waterfalls and stuff or no? Uh, like just stand in them? Well, on my phone, to. it's either my phone or my aunt's phone. One of us took a picture. There's a beer can that is placed in a spot that completely ruins every Kodak moment type idea. Uh, However, you can't help but think to yourself, how did, how get did there? that get there? Yeah. <laughs> how did he get there? Yeah, how did that how did that can get there? But uh, it was pretty dope. Um, I had some, some of the younger family with us who I love being around them, but they complain often, as children do. Um, <laughs> and we weren't permitted to throw them over the waterfall, so... Jeff, what what's what's the name of the place again? Watkin, uh, Watkins Glen. Yeah. Isn't that um, near Rochester? Yeah, uh, it's on the other side of Pittsburgh. Oh, it's on the other side of Pittsburgh. Oh. Yeah, it's about three hours away. Been there. I'd be thinking yeah. of another place then. It's no, not familiar. It's, it has a bunch of caves and stuff. They're not. Uh, there might be caves like within. But you guys, they're, yeah, they're like within the hillsides and stuff. Yeah. Right, 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 right. And um, you guys probably know what my, about my distrust for caves. Yeah. I, I don't have nothing to do with caves, so there's no reason. It's like really, that I should even really be aware pretty of that. waterfall. Hey, hey, right. What's up, buddy? I gotta talk to you after the show. So hang tight there, buddy. Um, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're visiting. Um. What else do we? Oh, crab fight! I got that game. Have you ever wanted to be? Have you ever wanted to know what it was like to be a crustacean with yes. sword? Oh. And with nunchucks and firearms, fighting other crabs for supremacy over the kingdom of crabbage. Uh, now I do. You're not. If you're not familiar with it, look it up real quick. All you have to do is see like one picture because we've talked about this game in the past. Yep. Crab fight. Amazing game. There it is. Videos, images. Yeah, you're, you're gonna go pro, be a professional might, crab fighter. Might, you know what? I might even try to speed run this. James and I. will both be speed running legends. Look, you can use yeah. lightsabers. It looks like. But I played that with uh, our buddy Piff for a little bit the other day. It was pretty great. 
Um, uh, it would be great to get other people playing it. It's a little pricey right now. It's 20 bucks. Uh, I might wait till I don't know. It's I would say wait for it to go on sale. To be honest, it was pretty fun, but wait for it to go on sale. Uh, what else, man? We went for the walks in the woods. Been playing some of that Pokemon Go, running around. I got a new job. Soon here, uh, I'll be finding out what's up with uh, an apartment. I got a lot going on right now, man. Good shit. But all good things. Oh jeez. Once I get into this new. Uh, place I will probably be streaming and recording a whole lot more. Um, and you know, get, get back the, the to the audio. roots. Yeah, I'll get like the audio portion of the studio set back up and all that other stuff. Which, with Aimright, I will have to work with him with getting uh, my skills in Ableton picked back up. I've used Fruity Loops for a whole bunch of years, but I look forward to making some ditties in Ableton. It looks fun. I've seen him putz around with it a whole it's, lot. It's a lot easier compared to Fruity Loops. Yeah, like I used Fruity Loops for quite a bit, and then you're like, why Why is it so difficult for me to select a pattern and just place it where I want it to be? Like, why do I have to go through, like, this little list or scroll through this list to find the pattern I want? With Ableton, it's all visual, so it's just, like, little blocks that you move around. And yes. A lot more convenient. You'd like it, definitely. Cool. So I got a lot of neat, cool things I'm looking forward to. And that's about it for now. I still want to get a couple things uh, going that I say I want to get going every freaking week, but they're eventually, eventually <laughs> I will convince myself to get sit down and get them done. And then I add things to the plate. Like uh, I have this thing I want to do for October, but we'll talk about that later. But anyways, that's my thing. Walker, what's good with you, my pimping brother? Silent muted. <laughs> so, uh, well, for those who don't know, I have switched jobs. Um, I am now oh, the man. lead delivery driver for all of the for doors hard for metal zone. doors yes. that get sent to Chuck Norris's for his daily door kicking. That's literally all it is. Every day in there, he put them up, the and so Norris, we can knock them down. Kicks the fuck out of the door, <laughs> and his job is done. Puts a new one Easy, up. easy. Uh, <laughs> No, but I um, got a new job as the Best Buy's uh, delivery team. Uh, only had it one day so far, so I can't really go into detail as to how it is. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, cool fact, I will have my own uh, cadet, more or less. Uh, <laughs> basically, uh, <laughs> it's awesome. just funny the way that um, the way that the main guy described him was basically uh, you're the boss. And uh, he's kind of like your bitch that does whatever you want. Like, so that's, that's a perk. I was like, that's cool. like, I don't know if that's that so pretty, but sure. Yeah. I was like, I was like, the wording sounds a little off, but I, well, we'll, we'll see. I'll take it. Um, <laughs> I've always held on to but, my own personal bitch. Yeah, I know, yeah I've I always wanted my own bitch. <laughs> but um, like, I thought I told you guys to stop calling me that. <laughs> hey man, it's just an acronym, you know how yeah. you know how, you know how the company is with their acronyms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fun. Uh, uh, so I got that. I started Sunday, uh, yesterday, uh, and uh, first time in two and a half years, uh, getting off my ass and actually working for a living. So that's different experience for sure. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Well, um, you've been doing a very. I mean, you've been. You know, you say get off your ass and work, and I don't know. I don't know, man. You've, you've been, been answering working. all. You've been working. Like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I give you props. I understand why 100% you'd want to get the fuck out of the situation because, like, you've been sitting at the desk doing your job for eight hours. Then you hang out with us for a couple hours. <laughs> I mean, poor ass. Right, dude. Like, sitting in that chair. Plus, man, how many phone calls did you get? That's like my internet's not working right now. Oh, fucking millions! <laughs> you guys, my TV doesn't work. work. Yeah, yeah, my Roku. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. Roku don't work. Like my TV doesn't work. Like what's wrong with it? It says no source. It's broken. Okay, you see that button that says input? Yeah, hit that. <laughs> oh my god, you fixed it! You're a wizard. Yeah. Can you help me set up my Fitbit? I am a wizard. <laughs> 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 
So got that going for me. That started. I'll go back tomorrow. Um, cool. And then the rest of the week training the next two weeks. And then I will have my own. The only downfall is um, the cool. part of Tucson that I am taking over is a pretty fucking big part. So remember when I sent you the pictures of the border wall? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's like an hour and 10 minutes away. Once a week, I have to go there. Oh, Jesus. Why? So, just because there's no, there's nothing from Tucson for the hour and 15 minutes down to the, to Mexico. There is basically nothing. There is little towns and cities within that distance. But in terms of shops, Best Buys, there's no Best Buy. So my jurisdiction is that people come up from those areas Buy stuff. I go down there. Your jurisdiction. I like it. Yeah. Good old Deputy Walker. Yeah. <laughs> I expect only the best Instagram pictures. Oh, 100 percent. Sweet. So I can't wait to see these. Gonna be playing the shit out of some Pokemon while doing that. Fucking <laughs> traveling while so you're much. driving. Oh no. Got um. Shows up. A bajillion Pikachu's today. Nice. Oh, damn. I don't yeah, know. I decided, that. like, for shits and giggles, I'm just going to turn it on at this playground. Literally eight popped up right next to me. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> yep, that is called. Typically, that's going to be your uh, nests. So, parks all over the world, my brother, can have nests appear at them, and they actually shift globally. And these oh, okay. nests will be where one specific Pokemon, I mean, it's the idea of a nest. Yeah, you know, and uh, for like a couple days, that one specific Pokemon will pop up there for a while. Like over at Scott's Park, uh, it was Jigglypuff, and then after that, it was Kabutops, uh, and then Frontier Park was Vulpix, and another time I believe it was Charizard or Charmander. Uh, so yeah, they they kind of they rotate and evolve. Um, it's kind of cool though, because sometimes you can get your hands on some of the rarer ones. Uh, doing that, there's actually a whole forum that goes into. Actually, you could probably find your area's group, and then within there, you'll probably find a little. Yeah, I could have kept going where all the parks are. Because I caught them all, and then I walked, and a bunch more popped up, and then the tadpoles that the two the I don't yeah, even know fancy the fucking. They evolve into an ugly ass toad. This dude. Oh, those toads okay. are cool. Lo yeah, yeah, those yeah, toads are cool. Yeah, I was thinking of um, a different guy. Yeah, um, a bunch cool. of the, a bunch of these popped up too. Suck them up, bro, because I don't think that they, uh, I don't think they're typical. They turn into Ludicolo when they level up. Um, yeah, they, that is that. That's the pool. first Pokemon I, I got a hundred uh, level at. Nice. Yeah, I, I ran out of storage, and then my shit wasn't working to get more. So, fuck. So I couldn't, I couldn't even get more. Oh, that's balls. Yeah, <laughs> that does suck. Uh, so I did that. Video game wise, really, didn't really do too much. Um, fucking. Uh, well, I've been played one video game, nine one one operator. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you're been, killing uh... it. You're killing that the other night. <laughs> fucking. You were keeping the streets safe. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's uh, that game. It's it's interesting. It's like a very basic game but it's just like it's oddly like satisfying i don't know what it is <laughs> it's got a good gameplay loop yeah so not only that but you have a natural born thing that you feel it's necessary to care about people and to help them so it doesn't surprise me that it triggers some uh what's that juice in your brain that makes you feel good about shit serotonin yeah like that yeah. yeah it doesn't true, surprise true, true. Me. So yeah, Walker, that's, now, you, that. now you just need to know that you shouldn't send an ambulance to a carjacking and the police to a burning bill or a, a trapped elevator. <laughs> hey, man, it's the only people I had available at the time. So, so I had to make, I had make compromises. <laughs> so they got there and nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, they had to switch it anyway. I mean, the ambulance. They love you. The paramedics yeah, they, they could have been killed. Song. Nice. I it's funny how. Phone. Go ahead. It's funny how those games attract. Like you seem to be appealed to that one and be enjoying it. <laughs> Again, it's one where you're helping people. Mark's very analytical and technical, and like that 
building subways. Creativity. What was that? <laughs> create, create, just created. It's kind of like Minecraft, but on the Microsoft Store and free. Oh, it's that, that building the building the subways and shit. <sighs> Whatever, I can't remember the name of the game what you're playing. Yeah, the game where you're building stuff. Oh, uh, No I Man's Sky? I think playing it with you. No. It's kind of like it. Satisfactory. Oh, yeah. I played a shit ton of that. Yep, I yep. wish it was on the Microsoft Store. It's on the Apple like, Store. Yeah, and you're into that, you know, technical stuff like Automation. that. Automation. Yeah. Right? And, I mean, James, you're into, like, games that just remind me of hentai. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not wrong. I, I, you're hard. definitely not wrong. <laughs> oh, so I like how I like how you had an answer just immediately for for Walker and Mark, and then it took you a solid like five seconds to think of something for me. <laughs> you gave more than any of us. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It was there though. It was there. It's just kind of like. It is this. But but last week, I was trying to think of it. Like... It's the anime trash. <laughs> no, dating it's fine. Simulators. The dating he simulator. Had a, he, content. he had to think, think of a way to say it properly. <laughs> the first thing that came to my mind was boyfriend simulator. Like, what was it? The boyfriend <laughs> dating simulator? Um, <laughs> New grounds. Fuck. All right. Yeah. So he bumps world <laughs> games. I need to. I, so I say that all with love. The utmost love. <laughs> so, when am I going to stream the John Cena dating sim? Oh, there we are. Do it. Or, um, have you guys seen the the one? It was like My Horse Prince or something like that. It's a game I think on like Google Play or something stupid like that, and it's about this girl who falls in love with this horse, and it's a horse. <laughs> but <laughs> but here's what? the kicker it's just Plot got a twist. dude's face on it like instead of a horse face does it have like a horse's me... head though no no it's like it's like human head rest of its horse let me look it up it. let me look it up real quick my prince or my I think it's called my horse prince yeah, 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 there it is. My horse My prince. Horse? My horse prince. And just look at these fucking images. This is terrifying. <laughs> this is what nightmares are made out of, James. What is this madness? <laughs> episode, episode 8. Episode 8. Finn. Episode 9, part 1, do you see that? <laughs> oh, fuck. fuck. I need to, oh, Lord I need to Jesus. This shit right now. I need Why to is this not a tri- How is this not a AAA title? I mean... Wow, it is. It's on, also on the App Store. That's yeah. shocking. Yeah. It's, well, it's this is, I think 5,600 downloads. Yeah. What, what am I fuck? supposed to look up again real quick? This my is madness. Prince. My horse prince, bro. On the oh, app coach. store, it's got a 4.7 review. What? Yes. And how many downloads? 5,600. This how one can... review. Oh my god. This one review, <laughs> first one. It was done last month. I was a lonely oh, horse god. girl with only my horses left to be my this, friends. This my other five <laughs> siblings did nothing to help for the family as they were off spending all their money on chimpanzee fights. Uh, there was I a gang it. of a 60-year-old men who bet on chimps and abandoned the Mormon church for them. <laughs> I need this game in my life. Uh, I'm, I, I downloaded it. Are you downloading it? I, it's already downloaded, my guy. Mark, are you downloading it? Uh, I don't. I don't think my phone can handle this <laughs> level of intensity. This is insane. I don't that know. Follow I couldn't do it anymore. What should my name be? What? should my name be? Prince Horse. Noodles. <laughs> just, do you even need a name? I mean, <laughs> when you're a horse prince. No, see, I'm what? the guy. I, I'm the. I'm the name. No, I'm. I'm the cute anime girl that's trying to find what? love in this. In this, horse prince. 
I want to get fucked by this horse. Okay, Okay, so so what's it? What's the name that that screams? Like a name for horse fucker. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Karen. K A R O N. K A A R O N. K E R I N. Karen. Fucking. The rest of this review said after being abandoned, I couldn't take it. I kept dreaming about my prince to hopefully come save me until the day I went on my daily ride with Ketchup, my favorite horse, to visit the chimp fights at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Stop <laughs> fucking name for a horse. <laughs> I saw the most beautiful being I've ever laid my eyes on. It was love at first sight. Yuma, my prince, finally appeared to me. My heart felt like it was going to explode from excitement. As he rushed over to me, embraced me in a soft but aggressive kiss, I thought to myself, Would my cat parents accept this man to be my husband? Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then in that moment, I didn't give a care in the world. We stood there for 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes, not moving, as only our lips touched. Later that night, we made love. My cat parents didn't approve, but I approved. I didn't care. They got so mad, they wanted revenge, so they killed Ketchup, my favorite horse. I was mortified. I got I got on Yummy's... Fucking get it, James. So what I did is I got on Yummy's back and rode until he couldn't walk anymore. Soon, I got pregnant. We had to stop as I gave birth at a gas station 45 miles outside of town. We had two twins. They were beautiful. We loved them with all of our hearts. We carved a house out of the gas station and made it our home. Lived happily ever after. Is this a after. fucking review? This is a, that's a review. <laughs> that's a, someone rated the game a five and wrote that as their horse's wife. Horse's wife. <laughs> Sparkle. Reality is so weird oh, anymore, but man. Reality is the oh weirdest thing. Oh my god, thing. he's really hot. And you wonder why people play fucking video games because reality is so much more intense. Oh my god. Jesus it? Christ. <laughs> I fucking love it. I think so sometimes. I think sometimes I think <laughs> I think th like three or four people standing in a line and screaming for Ifrit and Shiva and you know, House of the Rounds to fucking manifest into reality in front of you is more logical than some of the shit. This is uh, another review. My step, this is the title. My stepmother ruined my life, but this game got my life back on track. When I was younger, we had multiple horses until one day I found out that all the meat that we had stored in our freezers was the horses <gasps> that I was riding. God, my, parents told me, <laughs> my parents told me savage. that they went to the store and I always was confused as why my favorite horse looked different each day. I what? cried so. <laughs> That's hey. Yeah, I cried so much. I felt like my life had lost its purpose. Every night I would cry under my blanket while watching the movie Free Ren. Um, I wonder why I couldn't ever stop crying, bawling my hills, bawling my eyes out while rolling down the hills. Until one day, I was sobbing while texting my bestie, another horse lover. She sent me a screenshot of the game. Uh, well, it was my horse prince. I immediately was intrigued by it, the anime style, and I downloaded the game. At love at first sight, I wanted that guy to be my husband. Not only is he so polite, he is a horse, but a man. He is loving, charismatic, and hot. The characters are so well written and adorable. This is got. This game is really for me. It understands me. It gets me. It feels me. I, got, I played it over and over again. It gave me a purpose in life and a, a purpose to move on. Suddenly, my skin cleared up. I had no zits. My grades got the best I've ever gotten. I graduated number one in my class, and I now I'm a PhD in psychology. This game has so many meetings that I got my PhD again as oh, a shit. doctor in neurobiology. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the fucking game? So this this girl went from eating horses to being uh, a two-time doctor. What another high-quality app review right there. <laughs> <laughs>
And I shit on Steam all the time for having shitty reviews. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, the game we're talking about is called Horse Prince. Highly recommend. My Horse Prince? My Horse Prince. Google it. Click on images and be blown away. Download it now on the App Store. Hashtag not sponsored. This game is saving lives, changing lives. I don't know about can, saving lives, but it's changing lives, can, that's for sure. Can you imagine if we got sponsored by My Horse Prince and the fucking oh. ad read we would have to do for that? Oh, my God. I, 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 I hope, would, I I hope that. Heartbeat. Yeah. I mean, I, I need my I life changed by, these by titles someone. of these reviews are fucking amazing. Where are you reading these at? This is on the App the Store. App Store? Yeah. App Store. My whole family my... has fallen apart. The horse prince was the only thing I had left, and it saved me. Oh, my Lord Jesus. They're just writing. It's just, they just, instead of going to fanfic.net. <laughs> They're writing stories here. I have finally found the meaning of love. The I, review of two I disappointed wonder. friends. I wonder. What is this insanity? Before this game, I was just a girl lost in the city with no one to keep me company at night. <laughs> the winters were brutal with only the warmth of a lifeless body pillow, and the summers were scorching as my body was parched with physical thirst. <laughs> I longed for someone who understood me and spent my nights tossing and turning, dreaming of true love to call my own. As the years went on, I found myself giving up hope and looking ever more longingly at the cold oh metal of the final escape from this loveless world. This is intense, bro. That's an ad. They're all like two to three paragraphs long. Every fucking review. This is, there's more. It's talking about life was reignited inside of me. I dumped my new purchase in a homeless man's lap and quickly we were into this budding romance. The Walmart we'll is off by a crime scene investigation cleaning. Okay. What? This is going Future off children. the rails real quick. This is insane. <laughs> My inner fury has finally awakened. Can this furry. just be the Sorry, podcast? My inner, My inner fury. Oh my god. We what need to we... just we need to just cut this section out <laughs> and just, just put ad, like this is our this is our promo piece right here. This is gonna make <laughs> this, this is game a... is gonna change our lives. And there looks like there's multiple. Is this? Oh, these are screenshots. There's is five many... thousands of these. There's five thousand reviews of. Well, I this know what I'm doing. cured my colon point. cancer. The doctor oh. told me. The doctors told me I should have given up. The cure for my disease, since I was in the last stages, was on the verge of death. They said I only had a few weeks to live, and I should just live life to the fullest while still alive. I grabbed my phone and I saw this on the app store. I thought, no, this wouldn't help. It was an outrageous idea. Something was telling me to play it, so I did. The first time I laid my eyes on my heart stopped. I continued to play the games for days, and then I noticed I stopped taking my medicine because I was too addicted to the game. I went to the doctors, and they were shocked as they said, your cancer is cured. <laughs> right now, the game is being tested at Harvard University for being a cure for cancer, since it was potential. <laughs> this game is the next step to human evolution, doctors have said. Oh man, this is insane! And they're right; there are thousands, and they're all ten out of tens here. My horse is my house is now filled with horse shape. Dot dot dot. It all started with the Holocaust. <laughs> what is this? I was twenty-eight, and all the kids in concentration camp made fun of me because I walked around on all fours. What is this? I always knew that in the past life I was a horse. One day I was packaging orange juice concentrate when I heard a neigh of a horse-faced human three miles away. I totally, dude, I was just going to keep going. Like, I didn't expect it to. Oh, my house is now filled with horse-shaped gnomes is what the dot, dot, dot. Before I could, oh my God, hold on one second, dude. You're good. This brought me the courage to break out of the camp. I took off my pants and filled them with the orange juice concentrate for the road. After walking three miles half naked, I saw the horse in the distance. But before I could reach him, Hitler jumped in front of me and yelled, I know you stole our orange juice. That was for the Nazis. 
<laughs> then I felt a large hoof on my shoulder. It was Yuma. And he beat the crap out of Hitler, freeing the children from the concentration camps. Everyone was so happy until Yuma shot everyone. We lived together in my parents' basement where we ate only carrots and orange juice concentrate and never left. I've had five at home abortions. We now live in Mexico and run a cocaine lab servicing homeless puppies. That is a review. Oh, <laughs> oh, I thought I had a good one, but you're back to. Bro, holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> I was just skimming. I was just, I was just gonna highlight a couple. Oh my god! It all started with the Holocaust. That needs to be. That, that, that is a weird story. A, I need a clip art. I need to fucking take a picture of this guy. This, this is going on social media. Thank you, baby Firefox, for providing the best goddamn review I've ever read for anything. Anything. Oh, that was so I'm good. just going to put this online and say this is an actual review for something. Oh Guess what it is. So that sounds like a podcast, Until guys. Miss- Have a good one. Yep. We'll be until Yuma week. shot everyone. They fly Hitler, freeing the children, and then Yuma shot them all. <laughs> oh my God. It was Yuma. That's Yuma. the horse. No, 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 no. That you, is the horse? No, Yuma, Yuma is the groundskeeper. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. Yeah, he's the weird-looking, fucking... he's the the blob-looking guy. Oh, oh I thought it was the horse. Guy looking thing. <laughs> no, I, got you. I don't know what the horse's name my is yet. Furry Awakening. This one is how I met my daddy. I was sitting in my room. My mom. Wait, whoa, there. hold on. Wait, what's it called? How I met my daddy. I, I don't. No, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't. I don't oh, like no, that this at one all. Found my new sexy daddy's the one. I oh, don't. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh, I am uncomfortable. Oh. <laughs> Quality reviewing content. Oh my god. This is this is I Son need to find a way bitch. to never forget this. I feel alive again. Jeff, I don't oh think you'll ever god. forget this. There's so many. I used to have just... testicular cancer. Yes, Lord, praise the walls. This gave me a reason. Randomly, whatever and wherever I please. <laughs> I love my. <laughs> this is the oh. worst thing I ever knew I needed. <coughs> I never knew I needed. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. I've achieved everything in my life now. Homeless man versus hot horse. Huh. Guys, this... ladies and gentlemen, if you want a really good read, <laughs> my horse prince. Reviews in the App Store is quite possibly. I mean, if you need, if you want to write like erotica, just and need inspiration, just look through here. This shit is insane. I can't stop shaking. Oh my god. I found the meaning of daddy. Okay. <laughs> that makes no, me uncomfortable. I don't like he that. He took my wife. <coughs> My life has been changed. We should probably change the subject pretty soon. This is hey, Walker, yes. what else did you do this week? <laughs> one oh. person wrote life ruining. There's one. I found one bad. I found one one star. Well, okay. What does it say? We have to oh, know. God. We've seen nothing but like five it's stars. not as. Right. This is the first bad. Okay. This is the first I one. I found one. Before joining this lifestyle. Before joining <laughs> this lifestyle. That's that's I don't I, that's that is a powerful opening line. That tells you so much right Listen, there. Listen, man, being a furry is a lifestyle. Apparently, it's a way of life. Joining this, uh, see, it's a lifestyle, not a regret. Before joining this lifestyle, I was a middle-aged woman working as a high school janitor. Walking through those halls, I always envied <clears> being the principal, due to the reasoning that they do not have to clean up after rotten, spoiled brats. Frustrated with my daily life. My ex-friend recommended this app to me. In the beginning, Yuma was my best friend, my reasoning for living. But then he took over my life in the worst possible way. Everywhere I went, I saw his face. People began to think me crazy and isolated themselves from me more than they already had. My friend who recommended this horrendous app 
it's kind of written weird, who recommended this horrendous app to me, quickly became old news as I refused to ever converse with her after ruining my life. For all those people thinking of getting this app, don't. It is a waste of time and ultimately a setup for a heartbreak and mental dysfunction. This destructive <laughs> app shall haunt you day and night and be with you forever. Yuma, I shall see you in my afterlife. This was just shoot me, please. It's one Power. star. That's everyone basically says that the game fucking just takes over their life. And that's all they can think, dream, and love. <laughs> I'll have to read more of those. That is fucking gold. Um... But for myself, and to end it, nothing really special. Uh, and can't, can't really top that. Yeah, I fucking, fucking can't. Let's, uh, no, we're still in our weeks. It's been yeah. an hour and a half. Yeah, it's fucking, uh, let's get into some news, shall we, James? Like really quick, you want to um, give a quick shout yeah. out to our good Patreons? Yeah, big shout out uh, to Morgan and Jeffrey for continuing their their learning in the Lockpick Guild Nation, whatever the fuck we decide to call it today. I appreciate you, and thank you all for being a part of it. And if you always like, we talked about would like to join the Lockpick Nation. You always can do so at the one and only Level Unlock Podcast um, at Patreon dot com slash Level Unlock Podcast. Let me correct that. <clears throat> and uh, let's dive in. I have uh, zero movie news actually. So um, other than Mulan is trash. Yeah, Mulan well, yeah, sucks. I, I, Nobody um, likes it. China yeah, hates a it. Of, a lot of people. It's not getting the greatest reviews. One because thirty dollars on top of. Um, what is it? Thirty dollars to borrow it? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah, it's thirty dollars yeah. to own yeah, it yeah. as long as you have your Disney Plus membership. Yep, but you have to pay the ten dollars a month on top of it. Which to have the privilege crazy. to watch yes. this movie. Um, and then uh, Mark had posted this, but um, uh, the Batman, uh, the production halted as Robert Pattinson <laughs> has the the Dave, the good old uh, the good old Ronus, <coughs> um, and they have decided to re uh, um, to uh, presume production. Uh, without Robert Pattinson, so essentially they're going to finish all the part of the movie that he is not in, and then once he is better, he will um, uh, take back over and keep going on finish the movie of Batman. Uh, they have not said if that means because he has um, uh, the virus that the the release date will be pushed back, <clears throat> but hopefully it's not affected at all by it. But we will soon find out. Uh, so what, we had a pretty decent week, obviously last week we had GamesCon, we had some Nintendo Directs this week, what, uh, what do you got for us, James? Alright, so real quick, let me just go over the non-Mario Direct stuff. Alright, so, uh, new month, PlayStation Now games for the month, we have, um... Resident Evil 7 coming to PlayStation Now, Final Fantasy 15 coming to PlayStation Now, and WWE 2K19 coming to PlayStation Now, as well as Observation. I think you'll find out Resident Evil 7. That'd be, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's free on Game Pass. Hey, speaking of Game it? Pass, <clears throat> games on Game Pass that? this month. So we have Crusader Kings 3 coming to PC, Jackbox Party Pack 4 coming to console, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard coming to console and PC. Tell Me Why Chapter 2 coming to console and PC. Toho Luna Knights coming to console and PC. That's another game I play. That game is really good. World War Z coming to PC. Star Renegades coming to PC. Disgaea 4 Complete Plus coming to PC. Hot Shot Racing coming to console. Tell Me Why Chapter 3 coming to console and PC. And Destiny 2 Shadowkeep and Forsaken coming to consoles. Uh... Games with gold for September. We have the Tom Clancy's the Division coming to Xbox One between September 1st and 30th. Uh, the Book of Unwritten Tales 2 coming to Xbox One September 16th through October 15th. Uh, and then De Blob 2 is the Xbox 360 game that can be played on Xbox One. That's going to be available between September 1st and 15th. And then Armed and Dangerous from the OG Xbox... 
uh, is going to be free from September 16th to September 30th. We have some disappointing PlayStation 5 news. What else is new? Uh, <laughs> Ubisoft apparently leaked on their support page that will ha- uh, PS5 will have no support for PS3, PS2, or PS1 games. Really? Yeah, so that, that sucks. And I'm happy about that. Uh, let me see. Okay. And we also have some disappointing Xbox Series X news. So as we know, later on this month, Tokyo Game Show. Yes, sir. Microsoft is going to have a 50-minute showcase at Tokyo at Game the... Show. Really? Yeah. But they have told fans not to expect any next-gen console news during the 50-minute presentation. So what the fuck is it for? You think that's just like a... Like, they're just saying that, but they actually are going to show some shit? No, they're not going to. We're, really? we're in the middle of a Cold War between Sony and Microsoft. Mm. It's I, I know that both of them are just waiting it out for the other to break. Yeah, they fucking are, which is blowing my mind that we don't know more about these consoles. And they're you, literally coming out in two months. Yeah, this, it's, they're coming out in two fucking months. We don't know of a price, and we don't know of a release date yet. <laughs> no, it's just, hey, it'll be around this time... And these may or may not be some games that are. That's it. It's ridiculous. Like, is... It needs to stop. They just need to fucking grow up hair and r- announce some stuff. Mark, I think you're muted, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I was, was going to say, I guess that's for the Xbox, at least. Those are the only things we don't really know is like the price and release date completely. It's yeah. like they, they talked about like the inside of it and all the specs of that. So yeah. I, I know like those sort of things are pretty well known. Sony did too. Yeah, yeah we the know, biggest thing. It, fuck, I we know it, all about the 3D audio engine and the yeah. haptic feedback on the DualSense controller because developers won't shut up about it. I think, if I recall, for the PS4 and the Xbox, like we knew the price from months prior, didn't we? E3. We That's learned about I it. E3. I feel like I'm just worried that this is going Those to turn in. Um. I feel like we're going to get a Sega Saturn 2 situation on our hands where they're just going to announce when they they show off the like the PlayStation 5 or Series X, one of these companies is just going to show it off and be like, "Yeah, here's all the details you need to know. Here's the price." Oh, and the release Goodbye. date is today. Yeah. And the the companies or the the businesses that are selling it are like, "What?" The fans are like, what? People at those companies are going, what? And yeah, it's going to be a monumental failure. Yeah, they're, I've noticed that they're, they're kind of... Because even before they released the specs, the two companies were like, okay, who's going to trigger... F- who's going to release what first? Yeah. It's a cold war. Comes out, comes out Black Friday, and that's next week. Comes out tomorrow. Oh, you pre-ordered it? Yeah, that doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean November's coming up soon. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be soon. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, well, it's been floating around on the interwebs that there was supposed to be a Sony thing on the third. Then it got pushed to the seventh. Now it's like we don't know when it's coming. <laughs> and some people on 4chan, the elite hacker 4chan, said that the ninth is when it's going to be uh, something. There's going to be a uh, PlayStation thing, but many sources have said no. Good news, though. Good news, though. While you're waiting for them to announce, these companies to announce, uh, what fucking price and release date they're going to be uh, having for their uh, systems, you already have a game. The Witcher 3 will be getting next-gen versions that will add ray tracing and more. Uh, It's going to be a free upgrade for all PC, PS4, and Xbox One owners. So if you own it on any of those systems, you'll get get the uh, upgrade for free. Nice. With uh, both expansions and all extra content included, it will boast ray tracing and faster load times. Neat. All right, let's uh, let's talk about this surprise Nintendo Direct. Uh, you want to do that last, or you want to do that now? We could just do... Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's just do it last, I guess. 
Okay. Uh, Mark, what do you got? I don't have any news this week. Okay. I've not been up to date. Yeah, no worries. Now, problemo. Um, I got a few quickies. Uh, next week, we are, we'll be having another news conference as Thursday on the 10th. Uh, Ubisoft Forward ah. is doing their next, uh, their part two of their... Uh, <laughs> they're doing another UB Forward. Yep. Uh, um, Guess what they're going to be the, talking about. Yeah, so the trailer teased Hyperscape, Rainbow Six Siege, and Watchdog Legions, Whoa. as well as uh, three other major announcements. So they're going to be talking about the same shit they already talked about, but hopefully some maybe... Splinter Cell? Who knows? Um, nah, Splinter Cell's dead. Hopefully not, but probably. D4? Or is that EA? That's EA. Fuck. I'll save that for last. I'm trying. Uh, today, uh, it was announced that uh, Minecraft is getting support for the PlayStation VR. Uh, that is coming next month, and the upgrade will be for free. So you want to play the living room mode? That'd be pretty cool. Ah. Ah. I can I clicked on something and an ad popped up. Nice. So speaking of ads, <laughs> uh, EA is, uh, they removed in-game ads. Um, UFC 4 after some major backlash. So you can what's get happened? Tyson Fury if you pre-order now. <laughs> you can. So what's happening is, in the middle of a fight, a full-blown ad pops up in the middle of the fight. Just Jesus like a Christ. real UFC fight. All right. Like, so, to play devil's advocate. the whole screen. To play devil's it's advocate. It's $50 for that shit. To play devil's advocate, you see that same shit on actual UFC fights, and you spend way more for UFC fights. But yeah. if they're going for realism... Which these are sports simulations. Mm -hmm. I can see that because, like, whenever you play, um, like Madden or something, you always get that Snickers. It's in the game ad read every once in a while. Yeah. But yeah, they so, um, essentially that's what they were going for, the uh, the realism of an actual fight. Because when you're watching a UFC fight, you get that boom, the ad right smack dab in the middle of the screen. It takes over the whole screen. And the same thing happens in this. So you're in the middle of a fight. You're going to kick somebody. And one of the announcers, yeah, all oh, that kick was that. And also, this fight is brought to you by blah, blah, blah. The ad pops up in the middle of the fight while you're going to actually oh, that's try to fucked. punch somebody. That's super yeah. fucked. So, <laughs> um, and it, it literally takes up the whole entire screen. All you can see is their names and the time at the bottom of the screen. So, like, so, does control, like, do you lose control during that? No, no, everything you're doing, but you can't see, like, like say, like, the person, like, dodges. You can't see until the ad goes away. And some ads can take up to five seconds while the announcer is talking about it. Jeez. Yeah. Holy shit. Sounds like bad game. Irritating. Yeah. So, so, so yeah, now oh. uh, they have removed all ads from the game completely. Update, and the announcers won't even really bring so that'll be nice. The announcers won't even talk about them. Uh, next couple Good big things. Backlash. Yeah. Uh, Fall Guys and Fortnite are kind of combining uh, tools. Uh, Fall nice. Guys will be adapting Fortnite's anti-cheat tools in the future. Um, Good. They're already, they already have their own anti-cheat mechanism, but when become when a game becomes really big, unfortunately, people try to find a way to cheat and with fall guys being a game that they didn't really expect to be as big as it was or is um people unfortunately are cheating more and more and more and, and it's becoming a problem now unfortunately That's mainly right. for pc so what they are doing is in the next couple of weeks they are adding um the same anti-cheat uh software that is used by fortnite uh, Fortnite has, it is Pretty said solid. to be one of the best anti-cheats um, coding in the whole entire world um, that they developed because of the game being so big. 
So mm. they are taking that and putting it into Fall Guys. Uh, hey, uh, Call of Duty. <clears throat> Just saying. <laughs> they still haven't fixed that, by the way, either. Really? The game's only been yep. out for like 18 oh, yeah, years. It, it's super easy to find mod tools for that game. Yep. Uh, a guy the other day actually got banned in the middle of his stream because he decided to stream himself cheating and was bragging about it. And he ended up getting reported and his the game cut him off midstream. And it says, unfortunately, you are no longer able to play, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, a couple minutes later, yeah. he cut off the stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I'm done playing this for a little bit. I mean... Yeah, because he's fucking stupid and decided to brag about it live on stream that he was cheating. Well, uh, I'm going to get kicked off. You shouldn't have been cheating, you fuck. Yeah. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 have just come out. Uh, and Jack Black, if you didn't know, is an unlockable character. Really? Is he oh, really? Yeah, he is. Yeah. No. Yeah. I just, He's the security I just guard, right? <laughs> yep. What? Yep. I'm going to look this up right now because I don't yep. believe you. I believe you're lying right to my face. Yeah. He um, uh, he is the essentially the runner cop, Officer Dick. Yep. Yeah, that you could have locked back in the old days. But yeah, they revamped him. It has his face, his voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, I guess he, him and Tony Hawk have become really good friends. And there's like a bunch of videos and stuff where Tony Hawk is teaching Jack Black how to skate. Because I guess Jack Black's son's a really big skater. So that's pretty cool. That is super cool, dude. Look at him in there. Yeah. Uh, I should have brought this up in the Ubisoft side of it. Um, supposedly one of the leaked rumors that is coming to the Ubisoft forward That's is funny. that we are getting a Prince of Persia remake. Don't lie to me again. Yeah, we're so, probably not. That would be absolutely amazing. I love the Prince of Persia games. What was the name of that game? With the... It's a 2D side-scroller platformer with the guy that can do control time. Prince of Persia. That's, Prin that's Prince of Persia. Yeah. No, I know you guys. Are, I am aware of that. Is that with the other one? Yeah. Uh, what's this braid? Oh yeah, braid. That was. Braid yeah. was Prince of Persia too. Yep. And I love Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time. Um, I even liked the movie, which everyone hated. With um, uh, what the fuck's his name? The Disney Jake movie Gyllenhaal. Prince of Persia. I can. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, you go. I didn't see the movie. Uh, uh, quick update, so Cyberpunk uh, has just came out and confirmed on Twitter that this game will not be delayed at all, and it is set to be released on November 19th. Uh, so for those worrying that it potentially it's going to be canceled or pushed back, um, the okay. developers said absolutely not. Um, it will be released on time in its entirety uh, for the world to enjoy over the holidays. So that's a plus. Uh, so, uh, PUBG is back in the news. So, PUBG, speaking of cheating, uh, PUBG bans 2 million cheating accounts last week. Uh, they were permanently banned. Wow. That's yep. a lot of accounts. Uh, they were permanently banned from using auto-aim, wall hack, speed cheats. Uh, the, the game has been struggling as of late with, um people just playing it and one of the big reasons is the massive amount of cheaters so yeah they uh have banned two million of counts um wow. yep. and they have locked two the million? accounts yep to 1.5 million devices so if you try to download it again um your device basically is device locked you cannot physically download PUBG on your on your phone Wow. Uh, out of that, 12% were using speed cheats. So I'm assuming that you just walk faster. Uh, 27 was using aim, auto aim cheats. And 32% of those cheaters were using x-ray vision, meaning that you could see basically across the whole entire map. But like, That's I just crazy. don't understand like for like a cell phone game, like why would you want to do this? Because there's people like James that play on the computer that just melt pace. That is true. <laughs> Got the their economy might have a part of it. I don't know. Yeah. 
Uh, so Minecraft Live virtual events coming next month. Minecon uh, has been rebranded to Minecraft Live, uh, and it is taking place October 3rd at 9 a.m. time. Minecraft uh, Live? It will be a virtual event inside the game uh, coming next month. So what are they going to do? Is it going to be like a... Actually, Minecon sure. sounds better. Yeah. Yeah, they, cha yeah. they changed the name. They said it was more official. Sure. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, where the that's dedicated the wham this. kid was from. Yep. I wonder what type uh, of stuff they do here. Uh, they'll have community events, games, as well as press conferences. Hmm. The game has definitely come a long way, man. Yeah, it has. Well, uh, Minecraft and Roblox are the two largest games in the world, aren't they? The most played games or something, or downloaded? Yeah, yeah something like right that. around there. Probably. Probably. Uh, no Man's Sky developers said in an interview last week that they are working on a game. On what? The No Man's Sky developers, they're working on a huge new game. <laughs> I, I can't talk about it. Huge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they are, are had their hands in multiple sequels. Um, of different games, and they are working on a huge game uh, that they will hopefully be able to talk about in the next couple months. So we'll see. Uh, hmm. We'll see what happens there. I don't know because they they just re they fix No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is the the one where you explore the, the, the planets and stuff, right? Yep. Yeah, you explore the universe. Yeah, so maybe they're making a No Man's Sky too. Okay, that'd be cool. Uh, yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> I don't, I, well, <laughs> at least from the interview that I read, I believe I read the same thing. That, like, they aren't necessarily trying to go with, like, the same, like, style of game because they don't want it to be another No Man's Sky, but they also want to have a big enough project that they're able to, like, explore different technologies and that sort of shit. Um it's difficult to listen to Sean Michael Murray because I believe that was the guy that did the yep. interview. Yeah. He tends to, as what happened with No Man's Sky, over inflate what he's saying. He has so, a very big case of Peter Molyneux syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what yeah, that we'll means. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, the, the guy that made Fable and Black and White games and was really big at Lionhead and was like, oh, we're going to create a game that's so great because you can touch people and hold hands and finally feel the connection with characters. And then it's like, oh, well, you well, actually well. play the game. And yeah, and it's like such a minor aspect to it. Mm -hmm. But uh -huh. he just pipes it off so much and you're just like, wow, cool. They made three of these or four of them. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, the last couple things I have, uh, Post Malone, for those who don't know who Post Malone is, the rapper, uh, he is now co-owner of the Dallas Empire uh, e-game uh, esports team, um, Team Envy. Uh, it is the largest esports team in all of Texas. Uh, they play Call of Duty, League of Legends, and Overwatch. That's pretty neat. Hmm. Uh, he says he grew up in Texas and absolutely loves Call of Duty and loves playing video games and better way than to bring uh, music and sports together and gaming. And they evolved into one. Uh, so he feels that it's a perfect fit. Yeah, I think it's him and Mark Cuban are both owners, are the two co-owners of it now. I, I did see something about Mark Cuban, but I didn't read what it was. So I'm assuming that's probably exactly what it is then. Because I know I thought, Dallas Mavericks. I, yeah, I thought he he was getting he own he was going to own a uh uh team uh esports team. That's pretty cool. Well, a Mary and I have been talking about it. We're going to start an Overwatch team. There you it's go. Fucking We're awesome. You play. Uh, there is a new huge update for Doom one and two. Um, nice. The new update uh, actually allows the game to be full screen. Uh, at 10, at 16 by 9, without any, uh, that shitty letterboxing. So if you have uh, Doom 1 and 2 on Steam, like I had, you no longer have to play it in a fucking tiny DOS-ass box, and you don't have to have the DOS emulator to make it full screen anymore. They updated it so that it automatically is full screen. Huh. Interesting. So I guess it's not it's... using DOSBox anymore. Nope. 
And speaking of Doom, have you ever been sitting there and thinking to yourself, what can I play Doom on? Oh, I know what you're talking about. And so you're looking around the house, and your wife comes up to you with a test and says, hey, we're having a baby. And you think to yourself, you know what? I can play Doom on that. Instead of showing me this pregnancy test that says positive, let me add Doom to this. <laughs> let me rip and tear. Guess, guess what? Somebody did. You can officially play Doom on a pregnancy test. Get he, out of here. It's, it's, been a it long, only... it's been a long-standing thing in the enthusiast the like the computer enthusiast community that if it has a processor it can run doom yep and uh, it's you can literally play doom on anything um unfortunately it only because of the limitations of the play of a pregnancy <laughs> test uh it can only be played at 128 by 32 oh, pixel monochrome Lord. display uh he tried to increase the gamma in the game to make it more flushed out, but he could not. So it, it is just a little black and white pixel display that he uses a little USB controller for and controls Doom on the pregnancy test. Yeah, that, that happened today. Yep. <laughs> he, he was able to do it. Uh, they, they were able to show playback Doom footage on the pregnancy test like yesterday, but some dude today found out Hey, I could just make Doom run on this thing. Yep. <laughs> so funny. yeah, if you're if you just you're anchoring to play Doom, you don't got a computer, you don't got nothing, but you got a pregnancy test. You Very can expensive out. pregnancy you can, test. Yeah, you can just straight go to your local library and fucking manipulate the coding and modify the pregnancy test to replace it with to replace it with some Doom. You know. <laughs> Can't you ever need to do that? Yeah. There you go. Fucking hilarious. Uh, the last two things I have: uh, uh, Sea of Thieves once again is getting its monthly update. Uh, it is called the Vaults of the Agents. So in the last uh, update, uh, basically you you had some gold hoarders quests uh, where you went and found some very high loot um and the loot basically you had to dug up sunken ships sunken treasure and things along those lines okay so you have all this loot now that you dug up for the gold where are they gonna put all this loot so they decided to hide the loot in hidden vaults in the islands that were dug up many 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 years ago and they're now hiding the chests and the loot in these vaults so now you're giving you're given a quest where you have to then go find an artifact. The artifact unlocks the vaults. But do you go take back the artifact to the person that started the quest for you? Or do you become a pirate, take that artifact, go to the vault yourself, skip the middleman, and just get all the loot for yourself? So by doing that, you have to again go through a series of booby traps. And then by doing that, you have to solve some puzzles, which then unlocks some very, very, very high tier loot um, while potentially having to battle other individuals who are going. As well as you can do it with your pan your com new companion, your new uh, your new sailing mate, a dog. Poppers. Um, they are now adding dogs. Uh, where you can pet, play, play music, and the dog rocks back and forth and does little dances for you. So that's pretty cool. I don't care how much it costs. I'm going to buy me a popper. <laughs> what kind of popper? I don't know. Whatever poppers they have available. You should get an English bulldog. Those well, are cool. Well, they got squish faces. They do have squish faces. And then the last piece of piece that I pieced together... Peace. It's a piece of what? I do not know if I put it on this computer. Nice. That's why you use Google the, Docs, my guy. Uh, the NVIDIA uh, showcase. 
but I do not. I think it's on my work computer. On oh. Discord. So is it on Discord? Yeah. Oh shit, son! Thank you. Here we go again. Where is it at? Let me find it really quick. The TXT document or whatever. Oh, there it is. I will yep. TXT your document. I hope so. Got it. Sorry, give me a second while I load this. So for those who don't know, NVIDIA had a showcase um, last week where they announced what is coming out and what will be new into the future of gaming uh, for NVIDIA. A 35-minute conference, uh, and it was... It's a lot, of, a lot of heads. A lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, decently entertaining. Uh, and it was done out of the dude's kitchen. I'm assuming that was like the CEO of the company. Yeah, or something. That's, yeah that's out of NVIDIA. So uh, to start off, Fortnite is joining Minecraft in the ray tracing uh, for uh, shadows and shit, which I already thought it was, but I guess not. Um, so they have a they had a kind of a, really a bunch of different uh, um, bunch of different software um, to help latency and timing and things along those lines. So a new software that they are adding um, into not not software, but a new thing they're adding to their hardware is NVIDIA Reflex. So NVIDIA Reflex helps the rendering pipeline remove 15% of its latency. Uh, the new drivers uh, will be most improved. So it'll basically take the latency from 100 milliseconds to 30, 120 milliseconds to. So you have a dude running across the doorway in a game, you're not gonna be able to see it. So. So that's always fun. Uh, they are launching. It's called NVIDIA Broadcast. Uh, basically, it is going to be used for different podcasts, streaming. Um, think of it as uh, Skype and Microsoft Teams. Uh, dude was talking, and he put himself in space. That was cool. Nice. Uh, as well as there's auto frame. So if you decide you want to get up and do a little shuck and jive for your audience, the camera will then auto move with you. Um, and so you can come over here and your camera will automatically go like this. You move over here, the camera will go here, as well as uh, if you want to blur everything in the background, uh, it'll give you the ability to have everything blurred where it only focuses on you. Video is finally using its AI at its finest. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep, they're using the smart AI tech, uh, which also has incredible note. Um, my fucking shit keeps going out. So, dude has his wife come in and start yelling and screaming, and he hits the noise reduction, and you don't hear anymore. Ah, peace and quiet. Like, that's fucking hilarious. Um, it also allows you to uh, stream green screen effect without a green screen. So, the guy was playing Hyperscape, he hit a button, and then... All it did was take him and put him into the game like he had a green screen in the background, but it didn't, wasn't actually using a green. Well, that's science. That's cool. So that, that was actually pretty cool. Predictive um, chroma keying. So that Zoom did it, and they were like, hey, we can do that. <laughs> yep. Uh, they showed a random trailer. I thought it was Assassin's Creed, but it wasn't. So I was like, okay, this is stupid. Uh, the RTX second generation update, uh, they added uh, 4K, uh, 4K um, the DLSS 4K. I'm not going to really go over the acronyms. If you want to know what they are, um, just look them up. Uh, basically, it's a core to reduce the shader work by 60%. Uh, they talked about teraflops in this section that I wrote. Um, they talked about teraflops and other tech shit like that, if you want to know what that means. Look it up and have fun. That was my notes. <laughs> it is it is a lot yeah. of stuff to yeah. di or to digest. Yeah, so I wasn't gonna go into that. They talked about how it has like eighty two paraflops and a bunch of other shit, and I'm just like I'm not gonna go in depth with that. So um they showed in the NVIDIA Corporation. Uh the motherfuckers use robots to get them supplies and paper. 
uh, they had a video of a robot uh, putting something away and about how the use the technology they use at their corporation they're going to be expanding it out uh, worldwide uh, and then they got into some GPU talk so uh, they uh, the new GPU uses 28 billion trend um, the new GPU system ha uh, losing my mind here I fucking wrote this weird hang on <laughs> okay yeah, the new GPU has 28 billion transistors that can connect with the new Micron um, G6X, the world's fastest RAM ever made, um, which I didn't know there was that, so I learned that, so that was kind of cool. Uh, the, um, they, uh, they displayed the first real-time ray tracing video called Marbles. Uh, it's marbles running down some paintbrushes. Ooh, that's cool. It was um, a really great video. It really not, was. Not gonna lie, like the <laughs> if you watch it without yeah. any kind of context, you're gonna be like, "All right, yeah. when does the uh, when does the demo start? Like, when are yep. they gonna show the game?" And you're like, "Wait, this this is this is rendered on a computer." Yep. Yeah. yeah those... They showed they showed like a before and after. The first video was done in 720 at uh, 25 frames per second. They remastered it, used processor, the new equipment, and you. And they ran it at um, uh, 1440p and 30 frames per second. And I actually put the marbles. I second guessed myself. The marbles look way better. You should see the shadow and the dust coming off of this. This looks fucking amazing. I those so yeah, those it. Nvidia tech demos are always fantastic. They're yeah. great. Man, stupid. Yeah, they it, they fucking look amazing. Uh, they showed a new cyber. They new. They showed a new trailer for Cyberpunk with RTX. Uh, I put dot dot dot. Looks the same question mark. <laughs> <laughs> so. Didn't know what it looked like beforehand. Yeah. So they show off the new. Uh, they go to show off the new 1080. They go to reveal it, but they put an ad right fucking before it. This is my actual notes. Um, so the guy literally goes to talk and then a fucking ad pops up like of some random ass shit. Um, and then they show an evolution of every graphics card over time and how they change throughout the years. Uh, this new unit, uh, they kind of go over the text, uh, run has, uh, the DDR, uh, six, one gig dual airflow, um, it's got 50, 55 percent more airflow, three times quieter, thirty percent more efficient, um, and it has independent independent fans running for push and flow. I mean, push and pull flow. The dude comes back on and he says, "And here it is." And this is my notes. Fucking dude pulls this out from behind a bowl of what looks like forty different colored spatulas. Why the fuck does he have so many spatulas? And who hides a graphics card behind a bowl of spatulas? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Dude pulls the graphics card out, and I actually wrote, it looks like a $5 foot long. It's about uh, 12 inches long and about 4 inches wide. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm pulling my inner James here. It's like... <laughs> Uh, unit is going to be a groundbreaking seven uh seven hundred dollars. It's about one times fat about one point three times faster than the twenty uh, eighty Ti, which was twelve hundred dollars, and it's two times faster than the twenty eighty for the same exact price. That's the oh yeah all right so the thirty eighty. That's the thirty eighty. Which that I don't know why they would do that. Unit. Yeah. It is a yeah, grand. Thirty is a deal. <laughs> yeah, it is a grand chung guy. Like I just don't understand why they would release that at such a like half the price of the twenty eighty Ti, and you know for a fact everyone was everyone who just bought the twenty eighty Ti like the day before they were like you motherfuckers. Like, oh, I saw released... all over Twitter people like screen capping their um their order for their like $1,500 2080 Ti and be like, well, <laughs> shit. 
So I, I guess like I, I like the fact that they decreased the price, but it's just like it was very drastic. So uh, then they show the 3070. It's got the same exact speeds as the 2080 Ti, and it's five hundred dollars. So you can either get the 3070 or the 3080 for two hundred dollars more. The 3080 you're getting way more. You're getting way more out of it. Uh, the 3070 only has um, eight gigs of DDR6. No, it's eight gigs of G6. Sorry. Um, uh, both uh, are the best for ray tracing and 4K, but the 3080 has uh, the far better option uh, for performance of ray tracing, as it has double the performance of the 3020, of the 3070. Sorry. Uh, they show the new trailer for COD and ray tracing. Um, then the dude says, I, I always call him the dude, uh, and it's my notes. The dude says that there is a need in the world for a larger GPU because of its powerful, uh, because of all the power possibilities. And we've got the answer for you. Dude bends over, opens up his stove. Pulls out a fucking brick. Oh, wait, no. That's the 3090. Dude must have been using it as a cooking tray because it is that big. Why else would it be in his oven? That was my notes. <laughs> well, uh, maybe, he needs are... to, maybe he needs to reheat the capacitors in it. Yeah. Uh, they're calling this the BF GPU, uh, a.k.a. the big fucking GPU. Uh, it's about another $5 foot long about four and a half inches wide, but a mind-blowing three inches thick. That's what she said. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, it's, it's got 24 gigs of G6X RAM, which is fucking unheard of. Uh, it is $1,500. Um, it can do ray tracing in 8K at 60 frames per second. 8K HDR shadowing, and it also supports HDMI 2.1. Wow. Well, I would hope it'll do HDMI 2.1 if it wants to do 8K. Uh, and at the end of it, it's so powerful, they cannot even display what it looks like on screen because it will not look any different. The guy actually says that, that we cannot show you what it looks like. Um, if we try to show you, you're not going to notice a difference. So what we did is we brought streamers in and the streamers will then tell you how good it is and they also played it on 4k tvs hmm. uh during the tech demo of the kids playing it uh these are my notes from that a lot of oh my god's going on 15 times now it's been said 16 times now 17 oh here's 18 oh wait now they changed to this is insane They've said that 12 times now. Do said the experience is like going to Disney World because, you know, playing Valorant in Control where you kill other players is just like going to Disney World. Weird. And that was my notes for the NVIDIA <laughs> uh, conference. <laughs> so, basically, that, uh, that GPU, though, that uh, 3090, you have to have a fucking monster of a machine. Uh, yeah. It takes, um, is it two or three ports? Three. It's three. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, it takes three slots on your motherboard for it to be plugged in. Yeah. It's fucking gigantic. And it's a 12-pin power connector instead of yeah. an 8 Yeah, it's fucking, that shit's insane. But, hey, the thing with that is, though, you have to have the screen to go with it. Because if you don't have a fucking 8K OLED type shit like screen with that you're not going to get that performance there's no point in getting it mm -mm. they didn't really talk about that but and you're not really going to see the 8k difference on like a 26 inch monitor yeah so they are releasing their own um uh display uh that will have 360 hertz of ip dual driver performance uh it's used for esports um, it's the, they are releasing a new mouse with two, 
uh, millisecond display to PC to display, which is nice. So I forgot to add that as well. So basically, if you get all of NVIDIA software, their monitor that they are going to be producing with Acer, Alienware, Asus, and MSI, and their other equipment, basically they said you're going to be in good position for the best gaming rig there is. Hmm. Well, that's cool shit. Yeah. Uh, what do you got, James? All right, Let's well, finish it up well, with the good old Nintendo. I got real quick breaking news that I saw on yeah. Twitter. Uh, so, according to a gentleman, Brad Sams, uh, he has a leak on the Xbox Series S. It looks like it's about to be a third of the, the size of the Series X and how like wide it is. It's going to be like a third. Looks more like the Xbox Series S or Xbox One S in like dimensions. But uh, it looks like it's going to be priced, uh, according to the rumors, at two ninety nine. So we don't know if that's true or not, but it looks like it'll likely cost about three hundred bucks, which would be an absolute steal. And that's the one, the non disc one, right? Correct. So that's pretty neat. Breaking news here. Go. All right. Um, cool. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, Mark, uh, I figured you watched that NVIDIA thing, too. Do you have anything extra for that or no? Nope, you got it pretty well. Word, word. I just wanted to ask. Okay, go ahead. All right, so Nintendo had a surprise Direct uh, that I didn't learn about until two hours after the Direct was held. Uh, That's pretty cool. I don't even think it was live-streamed either. So it's 35th anniversary of Mario. So let's see what new things with Mario is coming. Everything announced here will be out by spring of 2021. First thing they showed yeah. off was a Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch system. Uh, it's the original game in a handheld inspired by the old Game & Watch systems. Uh, it's going to have a full-color display. Also, has Super Mario Bros. 2 uh, includes Game & Watch Ball starring Mario coming out November 13th. Pricing and pre-order info coming soon. Then we got Super Mario 3D World Plus which is a, uh upgrade to Super Mario Bros. 3D th- World that came out on the Wii U. So another reason to just yeet that Wii U out of there. Uh, Rosaline is going to be playable. It includes Bowser's Fury, which we don't know anything about. That's coming out February 21st of next year. Then we have Super Mario Bros. 35. It's a competitive Super Mario Bros. game. It's like Tetris 99 but Mario, so we're getting a Mario Battle Royale. Fuck yeah, we are. Enemies you defeat will go on to other players' courses. It's exclusive to Switch Online subscribers, and it's only going to be available from uh, October 1st to March 31st of next year. This is probably the coolest thing they showed off was the Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. Uh, it's a Mario Kart toy that comes with little like checkpoints that you place around place around a room. And you race with these these actual Mario Karts. But what's cool about them is that they have a camera on there. And it... Basically, you play it on your Switch. And it uses, like, augmented reality to put uh, other, like, AI racers on the track. And, you know, throw items and that kind of stuff. It, it looks pretty cool. Um, it, yeah, I put this is fucking rad. Uh, that's coming out... Uh, October 16th, the cart itself is going to be $100, then the game cartridge is going to be 60 because, you know, Nintendo just can't bundle things together. No, not at all. There's a bunch of Mario 35 events going on in a bunch of different games. That's neat. Uh, they're teaming up with Puma to make a sick-looking shoe. Super Mario Bros. or Super Mario All-Stars is out now for the Nintendo Switch Online. And then we got the final thing of the event, the thing that people have been uh, teasing for for the past, like, 800 years, it seems like. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. You get Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy all coming to the Nintendo Switch. It's got higher resolution, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, compatible with two Joy-Cons. It's going to have a music player, and it is coming out September 18th, so in 10 days. Uh, and that, That's awesome. 
Uh, but the thing that sucks about it is it's only going to be available until the end of March 2021. Yep. After that, you will not be able to purchase it anymore. Get it while it's hot, boys, if you want it. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, I don't know why they're doing that. It's so fucking stupid, and I hate it. I hope they switch that, but I guess they don't need to. If you're going to buy it, you're going to buy it. True. All right, but that's all that I have for news. Good shit. Well, boys and gals, that would be a podcast. Let's see what's coming out here, shall we? All right. Oh, yeah. This is up until the 13th. So on the 8th, which is today, if you live in the Eastern time zone, our t- our Eternal Blade 2 is coming out for PC. Party Hard 2 is coming out for the Switch and PS4. Star Renegades is coming out for PC and Linux. Uh, why? Uh, Okunoka Madness is coming out for PC and Switch on the 8th. <laughs> Necromunda Underhive Wars is coming out for PC and PS4. They just, they're just giving me all the, the great names here. Uh, Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning is coming out uh, today for everything. Arton- Artinio Blade is coming out for the PC. Whoa, so the sequel and the first game is coming out on the exact same day. Interesting. RPG <laughs> Maker MV is coming out for PS4, Switch, and probably PC today. Golf Zero is coming out for the PS4. Avicii Invector is coming out for the Switch. And then on the 9th, we have Taco Taco Tan coming out for PS4 and Xbox One. Chicken Madness coming out for the Xbox One. Golf Zero coming out for the Xbox One. Car X Drift Racing Online coming out for the Xbox One. Oh, boy. Injection Pie 23, no name, no number, coming out for the Xbox One on the 9th. Uh, rolls off the tongue. Hot Shot Racing coming out for the PC and PS4 on the 10th. Bounty Battle coming out for the PC and PS4 on the 10th. Mo Astray coming out for the Switch. D-Leveled coming out for the PC and Xbox One. Winter Moor Tactics Club coming out for PS4 and Xbox One. Bacon Switch coming out for the Switch. Uh, Shantae Risky Revenge. Uh, I think it's Director's Cut coming out for the Xbox One. Other Side. That's not how you spell side, but okay. Uh, coming out for the Switch. Vampire the Masquerade. Bloodline Shadows of New York coming out for the PS4 and PC. Tamarin coming out for PC and PS4 on the 10th. Minoria coming out for the Switch and PS4. Disgaea 4 Complete Plus coming out for the PC. And then finally on the 11th we have Golf Zero coming out for the Switch. Monster Blast coming out for the Xbox One. And Reactor X coming out for the Xbox One. Back to you guys. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Uh, for TV and movie release, we got some interesting ones to say the least. So, to kind of start it off, there's really nothing much uh, for the first couple days of this week. Uh, one of the interesting ones is on Wednesday. It's called The Social Dilemma. It is a Netflix documentary about how uh, social media is reprogramming civilization. So, and it kind of goes in depth on to... Uh, what uh, by exposing what is hiding on the other side of your screen, uh, going into depth of looking in the other side of the world on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So that'll be interesting. Also, on the 9th, uh, another Netflix series that has a lot of people scratching their heads. Uh, it is called Cuties. Oh, it is rated- boy. Yeah. Big old yikes uh, it's, in chat. It's rated MA for mature audiences only. So the synopsis, if you're not familiar with it, Amy, the 11-year-old girl, tries to escape her family's dysfunction by joining a free-spirited dance team where she learns to twerk and grind. The, com- the group is called Cuties, and they maintain this as well as they become aware of their femininity through dancing uh the trailer basically shows a bunch of 11 year old dancing and twerking uh 
and Netflix is getting a lot of shit for this as to why they would share have to something like this. One. Yeah, that's a hard no there, Chief. Um, and especially for the fact that it's rated MA only. Uh, it is one of, I believe they said, five things on Netflix that is rated MA. And features 11-year-old kids. Yeah. yeah I 11-year-old kids and rated Working MA. And dancing. Yeah. That does not sound like a combination that I want to be part of. So, we'll see. Maybe it's just a giant J, but it's nothing like they're actually showing. And it's something, it's like... A documentary, a documentary about like um, fish or something, <laughs> just to get you to watch it, just well, to no. get you to hit onto it. Well, no. So then it just anyone that clicks on it is just a, a nature documentary, and then they their IP addresses get kind of thrown into an FBI database. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, okay, who actually clicked on this? So <laughs> let's 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 look at them a little bit harder, shall we? Yeah, let's just keep it uh, on the tenth. Another documentary, kind of. Um, it's actually—I don't know if it's more so reality TV or what you call it. It's coming to the TLC. It's called "My Feet Are Killing Me." Uh, it oh, is. God. Uh, it basically is this about foot is, fetish. Is this no. a foot fetish show. Nope. Uh, it is uh, about the doctors who you go to see that fix your feet. So if you have toes that are all crimpled and gross, you go see these specialty doctors that fix your feet. And this show is about them fixing your feet. <laughs> well, sounds like a TLC show. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> sounds like it'll come on right after my 400-pound life. Yeah, it, it, honestly, after I watched the trailer really quick. It almost reminds me of that. It's like it just follows these doctors and follows the people who have these fucked up feet that can't really walk right, and these doctors fixing them. Every show on TLC is the exact same goddamn thing. Mm -hmm. They do not have anything original. Nope. Niche thing. Let's follow it. All right, there you go. Uh, so that is really about it. Um, next week, uh, we have... Uh, a 48 hours season 34 wow uh come starts on this uh um this uh friday so if you're not familiar with 48 hours it's a cbs uh, team who investigates uh different crimes and just cases so through all aspects of the human experience uh next week we got a we got a show that we'll i'll bring up um, may or may not be called Dancing with the Stars. And who is joining the cast of Dancing with the Stars? Well, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave that one for next week. If you're on Twitter and Facebook stuff, you've probably seen it. You've probably seen it already. But we'll talk about it next week. Uh, so let's, uh, let's run around the, the horn really quick. What's everyone going to be doing this week, if anything? Uh, Mark, start with you again. Yeah, who knows what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, but if you are interested in uh, seeing what kind of content I make, you can watch my mediocre content on Twitch and YouTube at MarkDude701. You uh, just Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> How about you, James? Uh, you can see me play maybe Ghost of Tsushima. Maybe uh, some Overcooked. Maybe some other things. Who knows? Uh, uh, Twitch.tv slash uh, Jimmy Noodles GG. And then if you miss a stream or you want to watch some uh, other things, go to youtube.com slash jimmynoodlesgaming to see a bunch of other things. And then if you want to follow me on Twitter, do it. I don't, I don't care. Do it. At jimmynoodlesgg. Uh, Jeff. Yeah, Splash Green Gaming on the Twitch and the YouTubes. Uh, that's if I do a whole ton this week. I don't know what I'll be doing this week. But, uh, yeah, that's about it right now. Uh, might be getting into some more of that crab fighting game. That shit was fun. Uh, see if we can get Pip jumped on here again. Battle for Supremacy. Um, but other than that, probably really not a lot going on in the way of gaming and such. Just gym and running around and work and living life. Once I get the studio set up, I'll be doing a lot more. But for now, we're kind of in this weird limbo state. But, um... 
Yeah, that's about it. Logger? Uh, myself, you can find me everywhere at Captain15, uh, which I have been thinking about re uh, about rebranding that to different. Uh, we'll see here. And for myself, with my work schedule, don't really quite know. Plus, I have to back my monitors, uh, so I will not have monitors. Uh, most likely, we'll be using a TV, which will then just be a single display, so I may not be able to stream next week's podcast very well. So we'll see what happens. And that's pretty much about it. And as for everybody here, thank you all for hanging out. Make sure you follow us on all the social uh, you can do that at Level Unlocked Podcast everywhere. The Instagram, the YouTube, Twitter at what, James? LVL Unlocked Pod. That's LVL Unlocked Pod. And if you would like, you can definitely become part of our Unlocked Lockpick Nation, Lockpick Guild, whatever you want to call it, at .com, patreon.com slash level unlocked podcast. And we will see you all bright and early, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, next Sunday or Monday. We'll see you then, guys. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Later, guys. Yeah. Peace.